Let me guide you through the setup, the technical setup of Sign Butler. Once this is done, you can just do the configuration setup and start using Sign Butler. Step one in the technical setup would be the installation from the URL. So everybody already knows how this world will, uh, can work. To get the installation URL, just write a mail at sales at pdfbutter.com and you will get the installation URL via us. Next, when the, when the package is installed, you will be able to configure Sign Butler. To configure it, we of course have to do a couple of technical steps and then we're all good to go. The first technical step is to set up our permission sets. Out of the box, Sign Butler comes with two permission sets. A permission set for the admin, so that's all of the persons who have to configure, uh, functionally configure uh, Sign Butler and a permission set for the user. A user only has to create a signing request, so uh, send out the signatures, uh, the request for signatures, and of course follow up in Salesforce. But it shouldn't be doing any functional uh, configuration on Sign Butler. That's why we have two separate permission sets. In the old days, we would just clone the permission set for a Sign Butler admin, but now we have permission set groups, so let's use these. We create a new permission set group, we call it Sign Butler admin, click save, and we'll add our sign Butler admin permission from the managed package. I would advise you to do exactly the same for the uh, uh, sign Butler user uh, one, create a new permission set group and uh, continue from there. But for now, we'll, I will just show you the sign Butler admin one, and you can just do the same steps for the sign Butler user. Cool. So now we are ready to go, but of course, we want to know from which objects you start working with sign Butler. When working with Sign Butler, we would like to connect the sign requests that you have sent out to the objects you have started from. So we can have from your record, your contract, your opportunity, your quote, you can immediately, immediately see the status of the sign requests and you can follow up very easily. To do that, we just go on Object Manager to our sign request. That's the record, that's the object. We keep all of the details for a signature. What's the, uh, sorry, for a signature request. Eh? What is the status? We create a new field, lookup relationship, and we're gonna look up a certain object. You will already get the uh, link, the form, uh, the lookup towards opportunity. So when you just wanted to start it from an opportunity, it's out of the box. Nothing has to be changed. When you want to start it from a contract or a quote or any other custom object uh, or standard object, that's not a problem. You will just have to create this one. Um, this one uh, lookup. Of course, when you want to start it from multiple objects, just create a lookup for every object. Let's start it from a contract in this case. And let's see, contract is here. So next, uh, let's not change anything. If you want to change anything, rename it, why not? Uh, it's perfectly possible. I will leave it up to you. And let's just add it to all of the page layouts. Okay, our contract field is now here. Let's set the permission sets, uh, create a new permission set for our, um, let's create a new one. Let's call it uh, sign uh, Butler, Butler local. And this is a permission set that uh, actually both admin and the user can, uh, can, can use. So, okay, go, it's created on the object settings. I will just, at the uh, on the sign request, yeah, it's here. Then edit this one, and I want to have extra rights, edit access on the contract. Okay, let's save this one. Okay, next we are going to say that we have a new actionable on PDF Butter. The actionable will allow us to send a signing request. So you have to make sure that uh, this checkbox here is checked, sign Butler. Okay, save this. And now that is done, saved. 
let's go back to our permission set group and let's add this permission set also to the group so we are now adding functionality sign butler uh, admin sign butler local we are now adding uh, permissions without having to change our um, permission set from the managed package go back to the group if you want to see an overview of the permissions that this group is giving we can take a look at sign requests here and you will see that it's a a sum of all of the permissions from all of the permission sets in this group so we have read access and edit access on the contract and these ones were already given by the uh, um, by the uh, permission set from the managed package very easy step one now let's go back to our uh, uh, this is still our permission set group i manage the assignments and i'm gonna assign it to myself okay assign done so now i have all of the permissions that i need i can continue next step is setting up the administration uh, for this you will need the username and the password from your pdf uh, butler registration uh, when you have registered you would have gotten an email from that so make sure that email is close to you and you can just copy paste the username and the password from that email just like i'm doing at this moment Click the check credentials. We uh, there is a uh, connected app inside Sign Butler. This one will uh, be used to update sign request statuses. From uh, uh, so, if somebody has signed it, if somebody has rejected your uh, your proposal, we will update Salesforce for that. So everything sits in, in Salesforce. So you have to allow this connected app, and then the connection is created. Everything is set up. This is all of the technical configuration that's required for SignButler.